volumes and nets. Today we are going to focus on 3D shapes, especially volumes and nets, and how to find the volume of cubes and cuboids, then how to spot and create nets of different types of shapes. Cube. A cube is a 3D shape and the measurement of all the angles of a cuboid are equal. Length equals height equals width. A cube has 6 faces, 8 vertices and 12 edges and each face is of a cube is square. Volume of cube. When we talk about finding the volume of a shape, we talk about figuring out how much 3D space there is inside it. To find the volume of a cube, we simply multiply length, width and height, but a measure of each of cube dimensions is exactly the same. Therefore, you can multiply the length of any side three times. Volume of cube, length, width, height. Let's put the values in the formula. As all sides are equal, so measurements would be the following. Length equals 4 cm, height equals 4 cm, width equals 4 cm. Volume of cube, 4 cm times 4 cm times 4 cm, or 3 times 4 cm. Volume of cube equals 64 cm cubed. Note, the result is in cubic centimeters because we have multiplied centimeters together three times. Cuboid. A cuboid is a 3D shape and the measurement of all the angles of a cuboid are right angles. A cuboid has six faces, eight vertices and 12 edges and each face is of a cuboid is a rectangle. Volume of cuboid. Find a volume of whiteboard duster given below using the measurements. To find the volume of cuboid, we simply multiply length, width and height. Volume of cuboid equals length times width times height. So the measurements of all sides of the duster are following. Length equals 5 cm. Height equals 2 cm. Width equals 3 cm. Let's put the values in the formula. Volume of cuboid equals 5 cm times 2 cm times 3 cm. Volume of a cube, 30 cm cubed. Note, the result is in cubic centimeters because we have multiplied centimeters together three times. Nets of 3D shapes. A net is what a 3D, three-dimensional shape would look like if it were opened out flat. The net of a solid is actually a 2D figure that may be folded to form the three-dimensional solid. Each square on a net represents the face of the solid, so the number of nets square should be equal to net solid. Each of the lines represent the edge. Each point where the edges meet is called a vertex, singular, or vertices, in plural. When we draw a net, we have each face sharing at least one of its side with another face. Always notice the number of faces the solid has, and the shape of the faces of the solids first. For example, find a net of the triangular prism. The triangle of a prism has five faces altogether. Two of the faces are triangles, which go on the ends. The other three are rectangular. The triangle of a prism has nine edges and has six vertices. Net A cannot be our answer as it has three triangular faces. Net B cannot be our answer because it has too many rectangular faces. Net D is totally invalid as it has six faces, but the prism net should have five faces. Net C is our answer as we can count five faces. If we fold and cut off this net, we will have nine edges and six vertices.